So we have crews out and about today tracking the conditions all morning long. We got the crew up in the northern part of the state, one down south. So uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, let's start with Joe Cortez. He's live in East Providence for us this morning. Joe, how are things looking right now? We know that there's a travel ban that the governor announced yesterday. Yeah, Kay Patrick, totally different story from about 20 minutes ago. You can already see it's starting to pick up a little bit here on the side over here. But the governor did announce yesterday as of midnight last night, there is a tractor trailer travel ban for the interstates and state highways. It's going to affect until further notice. Now, state officials are warning drivers to stay off the roads between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. today. We've been seeing a lot of crews out here. I actually just took a ride over to Rhinot's maintenance facility over on Warren Ave. They're gearing up. They've got uh, plenty of trucks ready to go. Crews are out. They're getting some fuel in some of those trucks and salting down the roads. Actually, just driving down Warren Ave a couple minutes ago, we did see one of um, those plows dropping off some of the salt. Now, there's a plenty of cancellations going on right now. Schools have opted for remote learning or canceled all in full, and you can get a full list of that on WPRI.com. Another note to little tid tad is um, I saw that the Rhode Island. Excuse me, the uh, Rhode Island Red Cross said that uh, over 300 appointments were canceled today already. So you can see the effects are happening every which way. And right now we have all the updates on the storm at WPRI.com. For now, reporting live in East Providence, Joe Cortez, 12 News. All right, thanks, Joe. We're also tracking conditions in other parts of southern New England. So you can see the Newport Bridge behind us. Can't see it too well, though, yeah. because the snow is falling down there as well. Kristen Burnell out and about in breaking news one this morning. Uh, last half hour, she was in Exeter. Kristen, where are you now? Well, good morning, Kate and Patrick. Right now we're in downtown Westerly, where the roads are not looking too bad at this hour. I'll give you a better look at what things are looking like right now um, in the downtown area. We just got off of 95 South and the snow is definitely coming down. It's slowed down a little bit uh, in the downtown area and we have seen several plow trucks treating the roads. Not too many people were driving uh, out here or along the highway just about 30 minutes ago, but it is starting to stick along some of the side roads and the highway. So if you are heading out the door, you want to give yourself some extra time this morning um, and just be sure to take it slow. We'll continue to keep you updated uh, both on air and online with the latest updates on the road conditions. For now, reporting live in Breaking News 1, Kristen Burnell, 12 News.